and welcome to Winthrop Guitar Studios. Thanks for tuning in today. I've got a fun melody for you, uh, and it's designed for beginners. It's just a few notes, and they all revolve around the notes in the open position. Here's an example of those notes. And those represent the musical alphabet of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What we're going to do today is learn this uh, two-bar melody, and the cool thing about it is, once you learn one melody, it's, uh, it's designed so you can stack it on top of each other, um, stack it on top of itself to create harmony, and it sounds really cool. Um, so you can grab a friend or a brother and sister, mom and dad, whoever you want that plays an instrument, you learn one melody, and as long as you know when to come in with the second voice, you can uh, have a fun jam session. So let's jump right in. I'm going to show you the melody by itself. And I'm going to use a metronome set at 55 beats per minute and subdivide it into eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Okay, now the key is that you stack these melodies on at the right time, and the right time is on beat three. So beat one, you would first voice begins one, two, and then on beat three, the second voice begins again with the same melody three, four, one. Da, 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 da. Okay, let me illustrate how to do this. And uh, what I've already done is recorded the melody one time through, and I'm going to play along with the melody, and the second voice comes in on beat three. So let's take a listen. So let me teach you this melody. Um, it starts on C, which is the second string, first fret. And it goes to the G, third fret, first string, then to the F, first fret, first string, to the open E, to the D on the second string, third fret, back to the open E, and then back to where you started on the C. So all together that is Okay, the second part of the phrase starts on the third string, second fret, which is the A, to the open G, which is the open third string. Then we move to the fourth string, third fret, F, back to the open G, third string, back to the F, to the second fret, fourth string is E, and then ending on the C, fifth string, third fret. So the second part of that phrase to repeat is A, G, F, G, F, E, C. Now all together, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and.
Okay. And then if you can either record it on your smartphone or play it with a friend, it sounds really neat. And this is called the Winthrop Round. And at the beginning of the video, I illustrated a way of doing it uh, as one person. Uh, I had to learn both voices at the same time, and that's a little bit more advanced, but you can get there. So I'll end the video by playing both voices. All right. Thanks for tuning in again to Winthrop Guitar Studios. Have fun with it.